Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 34 of Daryl20 Stone Block Series, where we're going to figure out what happens if we break a neutronium compressor with 1 out of 12,200 uh, iron doohickeys in it. We'll see what happens. Break. So we take this guy, right, we bring him over here. Whoosh. And where's my iron? Here's my iron. We currently have 2.8 thousand blocks. So we're about a sixth of the way there. And this thing did not retain its internal capacitor. So pro tip, don't break these things. Uh, unless you like losing thousands of blocks. That would be bad. Okay, cool. Uh, do we have any more servos? We have a few. Cool. So if I do this and this and this, are you gonna... This is the part where you work the way I hoped you did. Tell me you function this way. So we can pipe items into the resonance servo. Is it specific to its sidedness? Please don't be specifically sided. Or neutronium compressors, are you specific to sidedness? Ah, well, wait, hang on. Do, do, do. So it can extract, no problem. It's the inserting that would appear to be a problem. Ah, you have to insert into the top? Well, that's a bummer. All right, uh, I'm tired of items spilling all over the ground, and it's been on my to-do list to make an item like this anyway. So, attraction enabled. Hooray. All right, so with that said, that's a bummer. I can only insert into the top of you, Neutronium Compressor. So you are sided, sir, which is a bit of a bummer. So let's make you acquire a high. You, I think, if I'm not mistaken, are still... Hooray, that's still good. Cool. Um, what I'm thinking though is that we're probably going to ultimately want one higher too. So let's do up one. Cool, and that looks good to me. So I think that's cool, I think that's good, right? Um, so what we'll do, what we're gonna ultimately have to do for these guys is, um, off, off, off. Now that is effectively how it's going to have to work. And we're building up our iron storage. Nice. Okay, cool. So that's automated iron singularities. If I walk away and come back in about maybe by the end of the episode, this should be done. How's that? How's that for awesome? Uh, the response, obviously, is it's very awesome, Darwolf. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Cool. So ultimately to get going here, we're going to need quite a few neutronium blocks, right? Um, and uh, I think we even have some neutronium. What do we have in here? We've got piles of neutrons, which we can zap into nuggets and we can do that. Cool. And I'll put these extra piles right in there to speed things along, right? Um, so what do we need here to really get going? Uh, we have one, so that means we need 11 more um, neutronium doohickeys, right? Neutronium doohickeys. By the way, does Fluxed? I forgot to check this last episode. It does have an EMC value. Just FYI, it does have an EMC value. Booyah, that's what's up. All right, so just wanted to make sure, because I'm pretty sure every block does that we need to make here. But we need to get about 11 more neutronium compressors, right? Um, so let's get a couple more. I think that'll be cool. And your main purpose is just making this, right? There's another recipe that is very broken looking. Okay, cool. What's that? That is weird. That is weird. I don't know what that's all about. Um, but it's extremely extreme. So hoppers... Blocks of iron, redstone, and crystal matrix ingots. Right, and then we should be able to get, oh, there it is, it's way hiding down there. Two more of you? So what are we short on? Um, more neutronium ingots. So we need a handful more to really get you going. So we really have a long way to go with our Neutronium collection. So what I think I'll do to be safe, just so I don't accidentally lose this ever, 
There we go. That goes into there. That gets put away. And we've got two more neutronium dudes at least. So are you like, yeah, you're doing a great job, Chief. Good job. I'm super proud of you. So let's prepare this guy for what his future is going to be. Right? You can go in there. Okay. And then we're going to... Disconnected. Nice. We'll throw this guy here. Disconnected. Not that it hurts to leave these connected. Why? There we go. So you should have nothing in there. Good. And then if we get a servo for you. Now we're talking. We've got lead cooking. Nice. Okay. So you are really funny with your whole I don't want to connect properly thing. Now we're cooking. Yeah, that looks good. So you come along there. We'll connect this dude. You can be removed again, just for the purposes of looking good. And now copper. Nice. All right. Good deal. So we've got three out of the four done. So here's what I'm going to do. We need to get more uh, neutronium really cooking along. I think we can assist with that little guy, right? So there's a couple ways we could do this. More neutron collectors and also more speed upgrades, right? There's a, I think there's a critical mass for speed updates, right? Right, because right now you're moving at that rate, right? So if I, it's faster for sure. How's my, all the watches that I'm doing here, I'm gonna I'm gonna be negatively impacting this TPS at some point, um, but we're having a good old time with it, so it's cool, right? Let's take all our dark matter, which we have so much of. It's borderline comical. I mean, it's not borderline comical. It's pure comedy. <laughs> I love it. Having fun with this pack. Can you guys tell I'm having fun? Can you? All you need when you're playing a, a pack like this, you need a use for the stupid numbers that you can come up with. Because you can come up with some really stupid numbers, right? But you need a use for them, right? I don't know what the capacity limit of this is, right? But neutron collectors, hey, there's 20 more, right? So in theory, if I wanted to, um, could do something like this. Oh, wait. That looks cool. Again, just to look nice. I like how I like accidentally had 20. Right? Technically, I should be able to fit 20, except for this, but that's okay. So that should, in theory, almost double the speed at which we're producing neutron, neutronium. Uh, and also, like, that doesn't account for the increase of speed from extra dark matter pedestals with, with watches on them, right? So we've got a pretty good situation going on here. You're just important like a madman. Tell me that I'm not, like, leaving tiny piles of neutrons in the back. Oh, I am. Look at you guys getting left behind. You, sir, are not capable of keeping up. You and your resonant retrievering. Might need to do something about that. Might need to do something about that. Because you are not going to retrieve all these guys from the back. Because you are not going to be able to keep up. That's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Uh, how can I do this in a way that, I mean, clearly I could just put servos on everything. That's an approach instead of a retriever. I love the retriever though. It's so convenient. 
I think we're gonna have to do servos. Um, so let's just, you know. Here, you can learn that. Cool, now you're happy? Good. Okay, let's get our red print. So I should be able to do this ignored. Cool. And I believe Here's another trick, by the way. I think if I put this in my offhand, when I place them, I must be lying about that. I was hoping that would be the case. Maybe that's a different mod that I'm thinking of that can do that. So you've got 21, now you've got zero. How's that? Spifferino? Yeah. That's what's up. All right. You make lots of Neutron, and we'll be right back. All right. So uh, a little time has passed here. Got a few more of these Neutronium dudes. Just want to make sure I didn't accidentally leave any in here. So let's, uh, let's get two more blocks of this stuff, right? And then we'll get our redstone, our iron. Crystal matrixes and hoppers. One, two. That works for me. Two more of these bad boys. Nice. All right. So we're probably going to need some more crystal matrixes first uh, at some point. So I'll get a stack of those cooking. Um, what we can do is get the next two of these set up. And then I think what I'll do, uh, because we're going to want to... We're going to be a little bit smart about this. Right? Um, and everybody else here is cool, right? We're not, we didn't derp nothing up anywhere. I don't think we did, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now we're good. Right? And then for you, there we go. Actually, no, I want you connected. <laughs> um, nice. And you're good, and you're good. So that this guy can go right here. Get this removed. And this removed. All right, now we're getting an emerald singularity. Beautiful. Looking nice. Yeah, that's what we want. Cool. Now we should be getting a gold singularity. This one might be the troublemaker that will probably go and help uh, help it out with Project E because we have far less gold than we have other things, right? Like we're already at 27, 2800 emerald, and we're only maybe around a thousand, not even. So we're like about a third is what's coming in, which makes sense based on the way the chickens work. All right, so with those guys cooking, these guys are still making their resources, so that's cool. 35, 55, 35, 50, this is. So everybody's coming in with their stuff, right? So we don't have to worry about the resources not getting turned into singularities, because once I get the quantum storage units, they will start doing so. All right, so the next thing I want to look at making um, is the seeds for uh, fluxed, the fluxed seeds. So for that, we're going to need some fluxed electrum, right? So let's go mystical agriculture. Can I, was I able to craft you or was that being wonky? I guess it's working. It's slow, but it's working. Um... Oh, you're missing two of them. All right, so once you're done making the 10 of these, then I can request another craft. Does that sound fair? I think that's the correct way to approach this. Yeah, that's cool. 
right? And then once we get that, we'll request the tier four crafting seeds and then we'll also be good. So with that said, let's look into how we're going to get these things working correctly. So there's ways we could do it, but I think probably the best approach, which I was avoiding doing for most of the seeds, but for this one, I think the cloche is the correct approach, right? However, in order to get that, we're gonna need some treated wood planks and we're going to need this dude and we're gonna need an engineer's workbench. Um, which doesn't look too bad. It looks totally makeable, but we do need treated wood planks, right? Uh, so to get that, we're going to need a creosote oil uh, from Thermal Foundation, which uh, we can get creosote from, uh, if we want to go Thermal Foundation, we can do this with the pyrolytic conversion on the redstone furnace. And we can throw stuff in there and that makes creosote oil, right? So that's cool. And just to be clear, creosote oil has an AMC value. There's a bucket with an AMC value of creosote oil. Just putting that out there. Um, treated wood planks do not have an AMC value, um, but creosote oil bucket does. So that's cool, that's cool. So once we get one bucket, we should be good, right? So let's do that, do it. So we want a redstone furnace right so what all do we need for that we need a couple of you and a couple of you and we should also have some of you and just to be clear let's uh teach you how to do that i want to make sure that these guys that are also tricky so now we have the mc version of those right so redstone furnace boom and then we're going to want the pyrolytic dude. Um, so that's this. We're going to need a copper, copper plates. Oh, hello. Uh, you, 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 and this. And then finally an Invar gear. And Invar, you know Invar, right? Good, you do now. <laughs> All right. So then the pyrolytic conversion augment is what's gonna allow this to happen. I wouldn't mind some speed augments, maybe even a third, you know why? Uh, Cause we're going to use the resonant conversion kit that we have to make this guy uber, okay? So then you should be getting power. And then for your augment, you can do that and you can do the three speed augments. Cool. Uh, so then we should be able to get coal to do that. And then we should be able to get tanks. Open blocks tank? Eh, let's just do thermal tank. No, no reason to reinvent the wheel. The thermal tank will be sufficient for us. Ta-da! Right, and now we have a bucket. There we go. Interesting. It only taught it the, the bucket bucket. It didn't teach it the creosote bucket. That's a weird oddity um, that I did not expect to see, but that's all right. We can, we can, we did prepare this thing. So I think we'll be cool, right? So you're working, that's the last boom. You should be doable now. And we'll let the rest of that smelting occur, but this is cool, right? So now we should be able to get our engineer's workbench and we should be pretty darn close to good, right? So I just need some of you. I should need some of you. And now we're good, sweet. All right, and your crafting, crafty crafting can go, I believe I wanna put you like that. Yeah, that works, cool, right? So now if I want, the cloche, we're going to need a vacuum tube, which needs an engineer's blueprint for uh, common crafting components. Crafting components, crafting components. That would be you, sir. Uh, so we're actually <laughs> surprisingly low on lapis. That's right, because uh, I forgot. Let's just, you know, get half a stack of this. You'll always be there for me, my friend, lapis chicken. 
Or lapis chicken. All right, so you, you, you. Metal press mold, no. Arc furnace, crafting components. That's what we need. Cool. So now I should be able to get uh, the vacuum tube, which is um, glass, nickel plate, redstone, and copper wire. So you come from that. Okay. Ah. Why you know? Don't you have a hammer? Didn't I put you in there? Okay. Okay. Glass. Just to be clear, boom, in case. Uh, redstone and nickel. I believe it was plate, right? Sweet. Double sweet. Okay. So now we should be able to make ourselves a cloche, provided that we get. Sure, we'll use a forge hammer for this one. Because it doesn't matter which one. We're at the point with resources where it really doesn't matter, right? Like, just do whatever you want to do. And we have. Some cloches, at least one. Let's make it two. Let's actually make it three. All right, that's how much treated wood we have. We're good to go. So let's come back in a minute when we're ready to set this all up, and hopefully we can make it super groovy. All right, so let's give this a try. First things first, let's make some electrum. Boop, -ba -doop -ba -doop -bop -boop. And then we're gonna make you. And that should make a few of you. I'm not sure if you can power these from the bottom or not, but what if we put them here like this? Right, uh, now ideally, you'd probably want the output. To be facing the back. Cool. Uh, so signal and plated fluid ducts. First things first, flux point. For removing energy from the network. Do, 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 do. There you are. Will you power this, my good saw? You don't seem to want to, do you? Can you power from the bottom? If not, we'll just, yeah, it doesn't look like you accept power from the bottom. Not from there. Very tricky figuring out where to connect things for this stuff. Because they're like very specific with the sides that you can connect to. What if I did this? Bang. That works, right? So now you guys will presumably get power. Maybe I just want to double check you real quick. Because I don't know that you actually wind up. So let's do this, let's do this, let's get our servo. Ignoring, so you're getting that. Ooh, well, you might get power, hold on. No power there. Which is a shame, because it would be so much cooler uh, if that worked. So mystical agriculture, we're gonna need Three of you, please. Hmm. Stinks. It stinks, it stinks, it stinks. Because it's very specifically difficult to line these up in a uh, aesthetically pleasing way. So I think what we're going to have to do is something like that. Yeah, you're just bad at updating, but you're cool. You're good. All right, so with that taken care of then, um, we need some flux electrum. So that'll be the next stage of this design. And we're gonna figure out how fast these things grow and make the electrum that we need. Cool? And then we'll kinda go from there. Uh, so stage two, uh, flux electrum. 
right? So to make the Flux Electrum seed, we have all the prereqs except the Flux Electrum itself, uh, which we can get with this stuff, right? So it's uh, pulverized silver and gold or Electrum blends, right? So let's get 10 more of you. We're gonna pulverize this bad boy. Cool. Uh, we're gonna need some redstone and some buckets. So this should be Whoosh, loving it. All right, so the redstone should be going there. The pulverized electrum should be good. Maybe one more, we're missing silver. That's all right, we'll figure you out. Um, so you can be used with you. basically make a bunch of this stuff. And then sand into the induction smelter, which is currently configured to do nothing, so you're cool. Watches good times, man. Good times. All right, so now we should be able to get two of these seeds, no problem. Enough to get a third because I was gonna do a third, but then somebody decided to be a nuisance with their sidedness. So, in theory, we should be able to do that and that. And they're gonna grow pretty darn quick. Nice? Nice. Okay. Um, so what if we got a quantum storage unit and we popped him right here and your job would be to store fluxed electrum blocks, right? So to do that, we need to pipe the items out here. They will turn into ingots, right? So if we got, um, I don't think we have access. See, this is why I need the wireless or the remote item-based project table. So when I forget stuff like this, I can get it. So I think three is in order. Right? Um, cool. So you're going to do that. And then you're going to do that, right? And you guys are going to be configured so that your back is the import and that your back is the import. Auto input enabled. You're going to be a nuisance, aren't you? Combines and splits various items. I was under the impression it said something about, you know what, it was the cyclic one the cyclic one, right? Wasn't that the one that said you could, the packager? Bulk packaging with custom recipes. Now the only question is, will it auto input from behind? Cause that's gonna be a big one for me. What, what color is this, light blue pigment? Okay, cool. So we'll try one and then we'll go from there. Always on, well, that's cool. Needs power, okay. That we can accommodate. But how do I get you to do custom recipes? Package in bulk such as iron and gold into block supports custom recipes added using craft tweaker. Oh, using craft tweaker. Ew, right. So we're gonna need something that can do that for us, right? Um. So what we'll ultimately want is that's automated three by three crafting the auto crafter. 
crafting table that keeps its inventory. Uh, ultimately, we can just use the RF Tools one if we need. I would just love something that would auto accept the items and then could auto eject the items into the thing that's going to combine it the other way, right? That would be awesome. Um, Bash Crafter from Industrial Craft, neat. Let's go with this guy. We'll see how he works. So we're still going to want the factorizer. What are the chances that you can like accept things from the back and like auto? Wow, you are struggling for power or is it just me? Why you have so little power, chief? Outputs at negative 512 RF a tick. Okay. So question one, do I have power? Yep, we're good on power. Question two, did I derp something up? Or does maybe Flux Networks just not appreciate the whole... So realistically, let's put... Why do I feel like you could probably be using more power? I mean, I know you're being sped up at a significant rate, but I feel like you could totally use more power. Um, maybe we need better power transfer options, right? Uh, do I have anything right at the moment? We have some viaducts. We have signal and plated item ducts. We could basically, because they can do how much? 4,000 RF a tick, where these can do also 4,000. So that really doesn't make much of an improvement. Are you... No EMC here or here or here. It's a lot of steps to make it, but maybe we need to. Um, let's come back in a sec. Wait, hold on, I have an idea. What if I did that? So the best you can accept is 512, 256 each, but the fact that you're being sped up, it's messing with you? Because I don't think the cloches are appreciating the speed boost thing happening here. Yeah, see, it's getting power now. but it has a net loss of power when it's being speed boosted maybe? Yeah, that looks like a net loss of power to me, right? And then when the power drops completely, he's that's a problem. So that is a problem. Let's see if it can be remedied with multiple flux points. Maybe? Cuz it's not it's not the conduits that are prohibiting, it's the machine's ability to accept power. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, cool. So that solves that crisis, which has now been averted, right? Um, cool. What I'm going to do is just make you hardened instead of anything fancy. It's going to be ignored. You've got all the power in the world. You are making things. Are you auto-outputting to here? You are. What a lovely, amazing person you are. You. Right? So then we're going to want RF tools. Crafter. So I'm assuming that machine auto outputs, which is nice. So you don't actually have to pipe out, it'll auto output, right? So you should be auto outputting now. So then your recipe will be that. 
to the external apply. You just need some juice, which I can happily provide like that. Sweet. And then you will do the same, sir. Apply. Sweet. And then factorizer will be that. How's that look? Is that cool? Because I think that's cool. I think that's a nice little design right there, huh? What do you guys think? I think it looks great. Compact. And not bad looking, right? And now we're getting flux electron blocks at a sped up tick rate. Not, not super fast, right? But I mean, faster than not at all, which is what we had a few minutes ago. So I think that looks good. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. We are now uh, producing lots of neutronium compressed blocks. Are we at the point where we have one of these? We're getting close. 11,000 out of 12,000. Dude, we might have an iron singularity by the end of the episode if uh, I asked for a few stacks of iron blocks to help this thing out, right? So if I did this, are you getting there with your iron singularity? Boom, our first singularity from Avaricia, our very first one, booyah. I have a lot of excitement around that. I think that is awesome, right? I can't put this back in the output, right? Okay, cool. So Iron Singularity goes into the refined storage system. We have our very first singularity, that is cool. We are now mass producing everything we need for our, our uh, infinity catalyst, right? So uh, we're, we're making iron, gold, lapis, redstone, nether quartz, diamond, copper, and tin, and lead, and silver, and nickel, and fluxed now. So all these things are, are made, right? These guys, a single block of each is no big deal, and we can easily craft and then teach that to the uh, thermal system so that it, like, you know, on the EMC, blah, blah, blah. Good, good. Hey, you have EMC, nice. Uh, good, good, good. And then we just have the foods and the endist pearl and the record fragment, uh, which I guess is just any music disc. So we are super close to having an infinity catalyst, at least one, right? Like it's it's a work in progress. For now, Dollar 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and get closer and potentially even really close to an infinity catalyst. And once we have at least one of those, and they have an EMC value, well, then more things are going to have to happen with the EMC production. For now, take it easy, guys.